right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing Wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters right. you've ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If he dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got... side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Ooh, big shot man. Leg kick thrown. And he landed the right hand there. Superman punch. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Back to the jab now. No good. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Barrow. Working the inside of that lead leg. Big ball from Westland. Now he gets back to range. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice elbows by him now. Insane to see a guy go more than one elbow at a time. But why not? They're landing. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips and push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Nice hook lands. The choice shot there is blocked. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Try to establish that jab. Oh, big punch land. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy can play up there so fast, sometimes you don't see that. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. 
Effective punch there by Choi. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller. Right? Got the single collar tie. Oh, that right hand is on point. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice punch lands over the top. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Barrow's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Barrow. All right, feet on the hips here. Burrell going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors okay, right get in each two. other's face, right. tuck their chin, so bite down the off guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Oh, nice right hand. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Oh, beautiful combination. Punches and bunches. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Superman punch. And now he lands a combination. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, well-placed knee there by Burrell. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? How good is that right hand? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Close guard. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. I mean, how many can he take? Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, he missed with that right hand. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. 
What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Superman punch now. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, Perez lower job, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Blocks that kick to the body. Alright, so he continues to Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Alright, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't do is flat on your back, up on an elbow, right. and you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is now underway. Previous right, round, not necessarily good. a tough act to follow. Let's Pretty go good now. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's the gift to have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Morrow gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, huge elbow. Down to his mouth. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Choi's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. 
step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Gets up again here, but hurt. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to do it very fast. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 17 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that?